uh, Mark Avishan, uh, current master of King Solomon's Lodge uh, in Somerville, chartered in Charlestown. Um, so these are a couple of the interesting, um, very old, original parts of our lodge. Um, so we are, again, we're a Warren Lodge, uh, but Paul Revere is our first um, uh, senior warden, I believe. And these are, in fact, uh, a set of Revere jewels that he did make for us, and we still use to this day. Uh, every lodge, uh, we wear these. Um, they're pretty special. We, we keep them. And when we don't wear them, they're in felt. We lock them up in a safe, uh, but we do still wear them. We actually had them restored. Um, this is one of the three candlesticks that is uh, in the east, west, and south. It was not made, a lot of people think this, you know, they say this was made by Revere. It was not, um, but it was made in Paul Revere's shop for the lodge. Um, and each one has its own plaque uh, here that speaks to it, um, and I don't have my glasses, so I'm not gonna read them, but we have three of them. Uh, and then this is the original charter of our lodge, uh, made on parchment, um, so uh, the irony of lambskin, and um, our original um, master, uh, Josiah Bartlett, and I, down in the corner over there is where Paul Revere signed. Um, but we have, I want to say, at least three signers of this charter, the original charter, were uh, also signatories of the Declaration of Independence. So um, we keep this locked up in a safe and actually inside of a cedar box as well. Um, the joke, for me anyways, is that our copy charter, which we have in here, is older than what most lodges have because um, we are chartered in 1783 and uh, that's it so this is some of the history of our lodge thank you